Welcome back everybody to VertCam. Today we're going to be arriving into Ninoy Aquino, which is the Manila International Airport. This is an arrival. Let's begin. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. officially arrived in Philippines Airport, Ninoy. Hello, how are you? Good. Uh, it was good, it was smooth. No problems. Mabuhay! Which means basically, what's up, right? Yeah. Right. No connection, right? Uh, there's no connection. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy Manila for a couple days. Uh, no, uh, I'm an arrival. Arrival, this way, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. So that's a QR code with e travel. Which way? Okay. Next, they're going to ask me for my vaccine certificate. Hello? You say? Straight ahead. Sir. Straight ahead. I was already kind of warned that there's a complicated process here at this airport. As you know, I've been to now, what, 35 countries? And I was told this is one of the most complex. So, we'll see. So far, that's a very unique step, this e-arrival. Also, two very long forms, one for customs and one for Bureau of Immigration on top of that uh, QR code. So three different uh, departments need to know what's going on. And here we are. And all the questions are the exact same. Uh, immigration. Here we go. Mabuhay. I've been to the Philippines before. And I will say that once you get through the airport, it's good. But the trick is getting through the airport. And then the traffic. Can't forget the traffic. So I'm excited for the traffic at 3 in the morning because it is 3.30 in the morning. Yeah, film in here. Let's see. Ah, you see? Mabu High. Yeah. You still staying in Manila or are you heading off anywhere else? Uh, I am staying in Manila and uh, I'm going to play it by ear. I might end up going to some of the other islands. It's just. <sighs> Once you get down there, I mean, it's great, but getting there can be. The hard part. Hello? 
Bangkok. Oh man. Well, okay, so far being one of the first guys off the uh, plane, actually the first guy at 3.30 in the morning has been a good thing. No lines at all for me, uh, but the QR code, obviously with the e-travel, you need that, you need to, that QR code before you get on there. Uh, they didn't even ask me about my vaccine status or a test, which I was told was something that they were going to ask, so I don't know about that, but I'm just sitting here waiting for my baggage now. I've been waiting for just uh, two minutes. This is the one from Bangkok. There's also a link below to the Bangkok arrival, and I will put a video up for the departure while we wait here, and then I'll show you what it's going to be like to flag down taxi obviously at 3 30 in the morning it's going to be a lot different than it would be at 3 30 in the afternoon <laughs> or at any other time because manila is one of those places just like jakarta that gets a lot of traffic i did say earlier in the video that there is a complicated process for this one uh, i was just talking to a guy he did say that uh Bali was also complicated, and I, I would have to agree. I did a, a video on Bali. I'll try to put a link below in the description also to that one, just so you guys can see what Bali was like. They were also complicated. But aside from Indonesia and Philippines, most of the other countries so far have been pretty smooth. Singapore was smooth. Thailand was smooth. Yeah, Thailand was smooth. Thailand's real really a doozy. I like Thailand. Thank you. All right. Thank you. How do you say thank you? Salamat. Salamat. Okay. So I just came out of customs. I'm in here in the airport. And uh, they do have a money changer right outside. But if you need an ATM, you should do that in the airport because there's no ATMs around here. So now I will talk to taxi. Some meter taxis here. I was here one time at eight in the, eight in the evening and it was absolutely chaos. So I'm here at 3.30, actually 4 a.m. now. And it's not chaos. So I'm, the line's gonna go fast. Huh. That is, if there is anyone. Taxi. I think they have Grab here, too. Coupon taxi. Hello! Okay. Yeah? Where are, you, where are you going? I'm just going to the Hilton Hotel. Have fun. It's four in the morning, so the drivers are probably sleeping. That makes total yeah. sense, actually. Okay. Hello. Hilton Hotel? Uh, Hilton Hotel. James. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Hello, how are you? Fine. I know it's uh, Hilton Hotel. Huh? Uh, I'm checking into the Hilton. This is actually near Terminal 3. We arrived at Terminal 2. 
is Newport Hilton. This is your luggage, sir. Do I have an elevator? Yeah, over here. Okay. Morning, sir. Hey, good morning. No, I'm good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so we're going to the third floor. All right, thank you. I'll see you guys. Okay. Some pretty serious security check right there. That was some serious security check. Like airport security. Everything out of your pocket. Check both bags. Alright. Third floor now. That was not what I was looking forward to at four in the morning. That security check there. Incredible. But we're here. So we'll do this. Alright, well this was uh, hundred and sixty bucks a night, maybe more, almost two hundred. But it's pretty nice. Oh, it has a bathtub. That would have come in handy at like 8 or 9 in the evening. Maybe tomorrow. They gave me a late checkout because I have status with them. But yeah. 4.30 in the morning. Yeah. We've made it. So thanks for watching this episode of Arrival into Manila. Hopefully this helps you guys a little bit. I know it was at an awkward time in the Terminal 2 on Philippines Airlines. See you on the next one.